everyone and welcome to Curious Life. Today we're going to clean the kitchen. If you follow the Fly Lady system, this is a zone clean and as one of the rooms in the house that gets the dirtiest, it's not an easy one. But it is satisfying because you can really tell the difference when you've finished. And I'm going to start with clearing off the counters and giving them a good clean. I'll probably have to give them another wipe at the end, but I need to have a clear space in which to put things while I'm cleaning other things like fridges and ovens and stuff. So once that's done, I'm going to get started with the fridge because it really needs doing and I've got a grocery order being delivered later. So it will be great to have it clean before putting everything away. But while I'm doing that, should we talk about what a zone clean is? Well, I'm currently doing my best to follow the fly lady system. I'm not always brilliant at it, but I'm doing my best. And one of the important parts of this system is breaking down all household management things like chores and, and cleaning into manageable chunks. And this is done through a series of routines, and one of the routines is zone cleaning. This is where you split your home into zones and focus on one zone every week for just a few minutes a day. Deep cleaning that zone, and at the end of the week, in theory, you have a completely deep cleaned room. And this week, it's time for the kitchen. The kitchen has a whole list of things that needs doing to deep clean it, and there is absolutely no way I'll be able to get it all done in one week. But the great thing about this system is that you don't have to be perfect and you don't have to get everything done. The system encourages you to set timers and only clean for that time. Anything you don't get done, you focus on next time. So whatever I don't do this month, in only four or five weeks, it will be time to zone clean the kitchen again and I'll get to them then. The idea is that eventually you will have done the whole list and then you start again. I'll pop the list I follow on screen for you so you can pause the video if you want to have a look at what I include in a kitchen zone clean. But as I said, there is no way I'm going to get it all done. So now I've finished cleaning the fridge, I'll move on to cleaning the drawers and cabinets, and the oven, and the main kitchen appliances such as washing machines and dishwashers. most of the cleaning done I've just got a couple more things to do but the groceries have arrived so I'm going to put those away and then I will do my final task of cleaning and descaling the coffee machine and coffee grinder so this doesn't need doing every month but there's a light that comes on to tell us when it needs doing so whenever that light comes on I tend to include it in the next zone clean of the kitchen And that's all I've managed to clean for this week's zone clean. 
I got maybe half of my list done, but that's okay. Whatever I didn't do, I'll get to next time. Thank you for watching the video. Let me know if you have any tips or tricks you have for keeping your kitchen clean. I'd love to hear them in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.